Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome. I know we are a bit behind on our love reading. So here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. You guys, I have been extremely busy, not only with spell work, but I did want to mention to you guys, we are fully restocked with all our soap line, as well as our sprays, our powders, all of that you'll be able to find on the description link below, you'll be able to find our online store and you can purchase that now. If you follow me on other social medias, then you already know because uh, Instagram and TikTok is one of the sites that I uh, pretty much update every single day. So you guys can uh, shop if you guys are interested in getting any of our products, you'll be able to find all of that on there. As you guys know, we're getting ready for Hollow's Eve. So uh, the busiest season of the year for us. So we're pretty stoked about that. All right, enough about my updates. Let's get into your readings and see what's going on with every single one of you guys. We're going to begin here with Virgo as we're preparing to leave Virgo season and embrace <laughs> uh, Libra season. So we're going to kick it off the ending of the cycle. So we're going to uh, start with Virgo's and um, progress from there. All right, my lovelies, this is going to be for all love readings for all zodiac signs. All right, we're going to go in with Virgo, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. Please step forward, allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly for each one of the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Virgo. Please give me three cards to represent their new love, as well as three cards to represent the old flame. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, so you guys can help our algorithm. All right, we got cards flying out, Virgo. All right, so we're starting off here with the Eight of Pentacles, how they see you. So they're definitely still invested or you're getting to know someone, you're in the process of getting to know them a little bit better. They are willing to put in that effort, how they feel about you, Virgo. With the chariot card, I feel like they really, there's a bit of a little bit of stagnation uh, feeling, uh, like things are not moving fast enough, or at least fast as they would want it to go. I do want to mention, if you guys are recently dealing with someone, my advice is make them wait, make them earn it if you get my drift. And the next card, the future actions, 10 of wands does indicate to me. Again, I feel like there's a bit of frustration here. Not sure if it was like really fast. And then all of a sudden there's been a bit of stagnation type of energy here. I feel like they really want to move this up rather quickly. Again, if it is a new person that you're dealing with, Virgo, the advice here is make them earn it. Make them earn your attention. Don't be the type to completely become loyal to a person that you're just getting to know. Part of being single is being able to see or deal with multiple people so that you can better figure out who's best for you. Uh, I feel like they really don't want to put in the work. They know that they have to with you, Virgo. That may be a little bit frustrating for them. However, I feel that if you don't make it easy for them, uh, they will definitely stick around. If they don't, uh, then you know that that person is not worth your time to begin with, okay? All right, now we're going to go with the old flame here. See what's going on there. We have the seven of swords, four of pentacles, and the justice card, okay? So what I'm seeing here, uh, Virgo, is in regards to how they feel about you, they still have feelings for you, though, they may be acting a bit um, not very forthcoming with their feelings for you, uh, almost like trying to portray themselves a certain way, even though they are either hurting or they are definitely noticing, um, obviously, the absence, right? Your absence. Um, now, in how they feel or why they feel this way, the Four of Pentacles indicates a person that is really like, they don't like to take self-responsibility. I feel like if they were hopeful for you to come back into their life or to reach out, it would be them waiting on you. So I don't see them taking action. I see them more trying to play a balance act here. Um, so if you are, as an example, if 
recently they've been popping up on your social medias, et cetera. Don't be surprised that they are definitely looking into you. However, I don't see them taking any type of action uh, or even opening up because I'm going to be honest here with the seven of swords and the four of pentacles. I do feel like they, uh, you know, they, there is a wanting uh, to connect with you uh, because either you're constantly on their mind and they're trying to create this facade of like they're moving on and they're doing amazing, even though they're not. Um, but I don't see them taking any type of action towards you, Virgo. So my advice is just keep it pushing. OK, by the way, you guys, if I do pause for a moment, I am waiting for a package. So if they knock on my door, I'm going to pause very quickly. All right, moving on here, we're going to Libra. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Give me three cards to represent their new love. Three cards to represent the old flame. Libra season is about to commence. How are you Libras feeling? Are you guys excited? Libra, three cards to represent your love, three cards to represent old flame. All right, here we go. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on in your love life. All right, Libra, we're starting off here with the two of pentacles, the two of cups, and the ace of wands. Major promise here for you, Libras. I feel like you guys are going to be dealing with another person. Uh, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with one individual at the moment. However, I do feel that there's going to be options on the table for you, especially because we have the two of cups and the ace of wands. So there's a lot of passion, a lot of intensity, a lot of opportunities to connect uh, with romantic partners. I do see this uh, continuing of this month going into uh, October very promising in your love life. But again, with the two of pentacles, I do feel that there may feel, uh, or you may feel like you got options going on, uh, in how they see you. I feel like they're, they're, they're a bit kind of, you're coming off as an enigma right now. They're still trying to figure out, figure you out. However, they do genuinely want to get to know you better and their future actions is the ace of wands. So they are proactively, chasing you or uh, definitely interested in wooing you. So I see them, you know, doing what they have to do to put in the work. So very positive reading here. Um, if you are dealing with someone, again, don't be surprised if in the month of October, someone comes back around for some of you. This could be a person that is connected to the past, um, perhaps not necessarily an ex-lover. It could be someone that initially it began as a romantic um partner, but it didn't progress into anything. I do see them coming back around. However, I am sensing as well that uh, if you are dealing with someone right right now romantically, uh, things will progress in a more positive way. Uh, and I do see you guys becoming closer, getting closer, spending more time with each other in the remaining of the month, going all the way to October. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with your ex here. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have the three of swords, the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles. They're still heartbroken or they're still in their feelings about you, Libra. I feel like they haven't been able to move on. Um, now, one thing is oftentimes when we end a relationship or when we break up in a relationship and the person has gone to multiple dating or dating multiple people, we assume that they've moved on but that's the non-healthy way of moving on. I feel like if, even if this person has dealt with other people since you, Libra, I feel like they're still heartbroken about the situation. Why they feel this way is because they feel like they really missed out on you, Libra, or like they really messed up. Ace of Pentacles indicates to me the understanding of the value or your worthiness. It's kind of like I messed up, but then I realized what I lost. Um, that type of energy. So there is a desire of wanting to rebuild or wanting to reconnect. In their future actions, the King of Pentacles does indicate um, having that conversation or uh, for some of you guys, it could even be bumping into this person, um, whether it's on a social outing or gathering or family gathering, 
Um, I do see this person really trying to reach out and trying to rebuild some type of trust or some type of bond there. Um, even if you guys haven't been, you know, around each other for a while, I do feel like they're hopeful about the future. I feel like they are desiring not only to get on your good graces or men fences, but they're really trying to reconnect with you, uh, Libra. So don't be surprised if that ex out of nowhere, you know, sends you a quick message or tries to communicate, tries to ask you about, hey, how you been? How's life been? What they're really trying to get the scoop on is, have you moved on? Are you dealing with someone is what they're wanting to know. Why? Because they're hopeful that you may give them another opportunity. All right, moving on. We're going now to... Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three cards to represent new love. Three cards to represent their old flame. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys don't forget to follow us on all our social medias. All of our social medias are linked to my YouTube channel. So you guys can make sure that you guys are following the correct person. I have hundreds of uh, fake accounts on TikTok of people pretending to be me. You guys don't fall for that. I do not message anyone. I do not DM anyone telling them that I got a message from your guides. I don't do none of that stuff. If I did half of what people say <laughs> when they are creating fake profiles, I would be you know, completely wasted of energy. Uh, that is literally impossible, you guys. So don't fall for those fakes. Report them. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Here we go, Scorpio. All right, so let's see what's going on in your love life, Scorpio. All right, you have the Magician, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Cups. Interesting. Okay, some of you guys may be dealing with the Aries. Others of you may be dealing with Water Signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Now, what I'm seeing here is they're definitely seeing you as a person that is a go-getter. They're seeing you like very focused or very determined, a person that has you know, a lot of possibilities of growth and advancement. This is something that is a little bit intriguing for them, but also a bit intimidating. Um, so you may be dealing with someone that may lack some type of confidence. I feel like they really admire you, but putting you on that pedestal or, you know, seeing you from a admiration standpoint uh, makes them a bit more insecure about them or what they're willing to give to you or bring to you, um, in this connection. Now their future actions is King of Cups. I feel like they are, if you've been feeling like this person that you're recently dealing with, it's not really opening up or they're not very forthcoming with their information or, you know, they don't really talk about their past stuff like that. Uh, that's definitely going to be evolving. I do see them opening up. I do see them connecting with you on a more emotional basis, Scorpio. However, I would try the best to, I would try the best to really pay attention to their insecurities. Why do I say this? Because again, I feel like when a person thinks of someone as like perfect or ideal, a lot of the times they fantasize, right? And they put you in this image that is not necessarily who you are. And as you get to know them, as you guys continue the connection, um, you know, they can hold you up to certain standards because they think a certain aspect of you. And that's not necessarily a good thing, um, especially if this person is walking around with like insecurities about themselves. You don't, I mean, I personally wouldn't want to be with someone that I constantly need to be validating, that I constantly need to be telling them, you know, how I feel about them and stuff like that. Uh, if you're into that, then great. But if you're not, again, I would be paying attention to those type of red flags um, because it could be draining in your energy. It, it could become an issue down the road. All right. Now let's look into your past connection or your past lover. We have two queens here. So what I'm seeing here is they feel like they haven't moved on from you, Scorpio. Um and I, I really don't like this energy because it's almost like the victim mentality type of energy, the, 
you know, because of Scorpio, I was put in this position and, you know, they're not taking no responsibility whatsoever on why things ended or how they ended. And I feel like they go around with partners or people that they, you know, are romantically connected or involved with. And it's almost like they portray this image of you in a very negative aspect. And um, again, it's like the victim type of mentality that the, the not wanting to take responsibility for their lack or for what happened in this relationship. When we talk about have they moved on again, I feel like they're still very connected to you, whether it's spiritually or they just haven't moved on emotionally. Um, but I don't see them taking any type of action towards you. I don't see them trying to reach out. However, don't be surprised if you hear rumors about them or them like rumors of them talking about you or, or making it seem more than what it was. What's coming to mind. It's kind of like, oh yeah, you know, the person that I was with, you know, they cheated on me and they took me for granted even though maybe you didn't cheat on them, maybe what happened was that you got tired of, you know, their lack of self-responsibility. Um, so again, I feel like if there are rumors coming your way, which more likely you will be hearing about them either the end of this month, the beginning of October, uh, two Queens to me is always rumors and, you know, people talking. Um, but I feel like they're purposely, trying to trigger you so that you can be the one to take some type of action or to reach out to them. Don't fall for that, Scorpio. You don't need that type of energy. I feel like you've elevated yourself. So, you know, turn the page on this one. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. It helps our algorithm. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. By the way, you guys, I've been thinking for this Hallow's Eve, I've never done a series of, you know, scary or spooky stories. I'm thinking about it. Uh, a few people on my Instagram have mentioned that that would be fun. Um, real experiences of paranormal activity that I've experienced, whether it's cleansing of clients' homes um, and stuff like that. You guys comment below and let me know if you guys are interested in that. Maybe I will. All right, let's see what's going on with my Saggies. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Here we go. Are you guys excited about Halloween? You guys know we hella celebrate over here, so we're pretty stoked about it. All right, here we go. Oof, what the heck is going on? Okay, so we have here the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Star. Okay, so if there was a connection and you felt a strong connection and all of a sudden they're not communicating or they're not really putting the same effort, you know, the same energy that they were initially. Um, I don't want you guys to freak out. What's happening right now, I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of movement in their birth chart. Um, what they are showing me here is that there is definitely, there is definitely a connection. So I'm talking to you guys that have felt like this person came into your life at a certain point in your life or a turning point in your life. Um, this is a higher connection, higher elevation of connection. But I feel like this person has, it, it, it's almost like they came into your life right at a pivotal moment, um, which is why it makes it so meaningful. But I feel like they haven't really turned that page yet. They're like barely, it's kind of like they're barely getting to those crossroads, getting ready to let go of the past and move on and start fresh. And I feel like you've already done that Sagittarius or you're at that point right now. So your energy is much more elevated than theirs. However, I do feel like they are in the process of this. So 
it's almost like it's not coincidental that you guys came into each other's life. I feel like it's predestined right now. Um, so again, if there is a feeling of like everything's amazing and then things start to fall apart or the connection is like, it, it's kind of, it picks up and then it stops, it picks up. Be patient with this. My advice is work on yourself right now, Sagittarius, because they're getting ready to be mentally and emotionally prepared to be able to bring you the connection or the stable relationship you've been wanting. Um, but again, I feel like this is very spiritual right now, what's happening with them. So there is a almost a destiny that's being aligned right now. But again, um, if you feel like this person you know, you guys have or share a very deep connection, it is important to be patient with this. Uh, why? Because if you don't, I feel like there may be a lot of baggage that comes with this. Uh, it's almost like both of you guys are going to be mirroring or reflecting each other's past or experiences from the past. It's a lot to deal with. So my advice is if you feel that connection is deep, um, I'm not necessarily the type to say, sit there and wait for them. But if anything, I would tell you, focus on you, do you Sagittarius, and they will align themselves to their higher version and then be able to give you a more profound connection. All right, Sagis. Now let's look into the past here. We have the Empress, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So how they feel about you, they definitely understand that you were their person or that you were the person that was right for them. Uh, you brought a lot of stability for them, a lot of emotional stability. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been, you could have become almost like the, the anchor for them in many aspects. Why they feel this way, I feel like you bettered them Sagittarius, the person that you were dealing with in the past, your ex-partner, ex-lover, I feel like you did a lot for them. And they're at a point right now where they're kind of realizing that, but at the same time, there's no action or movement towards you. I don't see them trying to reach out. I feel like they're holding on to their pride right now. So if you're wanting some type of connection or some type of reconciliation, I don't see that happening um, I feel like this person is more, the, they're realizing everything that you did for them, everything that was bountiful around you, um, e even feeling like you were their lucky charm uh, is what I'm hearing, but they're so fixated on them wanting you to realize like you're the one that misses them, that they're not taking any type of action towards you. It's almost like it's almost like I'm seeing you build them up so much that they lose ground, they lose footing, and they actually believe that they're the shit when all the time it was you that was opening those doors up for them, if that makes sense. So my advice is keep it pushing. This person is not even like worth your time or effort. I feel like this person is so into themselves a bit narcissistic that they're not really learning the lesson that they were meant to learn in this connection. Don't waste your time, Sagittarius. All right, moving on here. Let's see who's next, Capricorn. All right, let's see what's going on with Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go, Capis. Okay. Trying to remove the glare, you guys. All right, Capricorn. So, <clears throat> how they see you, the Page of Pentacles indicates to me that they admire you. They see you as a very smart individual. Uh, they see you very focused. Um, could be that you find yourself lately working a lot or working a lot of hours 
or they're seeing what you're doing, like you're making moves and they're definitely seeing that or noticing that. Now, how they feel about you, I feel like they feel at this point that they've done enough. For some of you guys, they've been really patient. Um, and it's almost like they're, they understand that they've done their part and they need to step back so that you can put some type of effort. My advice, Capricorn, is if this is resonating with you, it's time to put in some work, Capricorn. I'm going to be honest. With the hermit, you guys have a tendency of being very isolated or you enjoy your solitude. Amen to that because I can totally connect with that. But when it comes to relationships and partnerships, you need to understand that it takes two people to make it work. It takes two people to tangle. You know what I mean? So you you got to put some effort. You got to meet them halfway. <laughs> you can't expect them to make the whole journey on their own. So I feel like at this point, if this person is really worth it for you, you would know and you would know where it is that there's a part of you that is still connecting to that singlehood or that is connecting to your comfortability, but it's time for you to get out of that comfort zone, Capricorn. It's time for you to do something different because if not, then what's the point of dating for you? You know what I mean? Like if you want to be comfortable and you want to be alone and left alone, uh, then you shouldn't be watching these love readings. But if you are wanting love, or embracing love or ready to connect with someone, for those of you guys that are single out there, it's time to get out of your comfort zone. Like literally stop doing the same thing you've been doing for so many years. Like it's not working out for you. It's time for you to shake things up. Um, yes, that means be a little bit of an extrovert Capricorn. So again, if you are dealing with someone, it's, it's time to put some type of effort or make some time to, uh, you know, go out on a date or something like give them the time of day Capricorn. I know that sometimes you guys have a tendency of testing people. I feel like this person really has been patient is what I heard immediately when I seen the cards. So it is a person worth investing your time in. So stop being so scared. I don't want to waste my time on the wrong person that you keep fleeting by all of these options and you don't really put effort on in nobody because you're so fixated on not wasting your time. You have to, you know, stop making the same habits if you want different results. All right, moving on to your past lover. We have here the seven of swords, the king of wands and the ace of swords. They're still looking at you. They're still seeing what's going on in your life, Capricorn. Um, I feel like this person has really, you really hit them in their feels. Like if you were the one that broke up this connection, they were definitely not expecting for you to be the one to like be done with it. Um, if it was them that walked out on you, they probably weren't expecting that you were going to keep it pushing. And I feel like there is almost this desire of, I kind of, you know, they kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They really underestimated you. And I feel like right now there is an elevation that's happening, Capricorn. Uh, whether you're aware of it or not, you may start to experience this in October. But I feel like there's a glow up that's happening for you guys um, where a lot of attention is going to be coming your way. King of Wands always indicates to me in regards to why they feel this way. It's like they feel... Um, they feel betrayed. They feel like like you weren't completely honest with them because they cannot fathom that you either moved on or that you're doing good without them. So it's like, what is Capricorn really hiding? Like, were they seeing someone else before we even broke up? I feel like you're so fixated on yourself right now or putting effort on yourself or elevating yourself, Capricorn, that everyone's noticing around you. But with this King of Wands, I feel like they're in their feels about it. It's more so because of pride. And I do see them reaching out to you. I do see them. I'm going to be honest. For some of you guys, I feel like they're going to make up an excuse just to reach out to you. It's a petty excuse. So it could be like, hey, I spoke to your mom and I heard that you were like under the weather and I just wanted to make sure you're okay, even though they're bullshitting. I feel like it's an excuse. They're just trying to connect with you. I do see them taking action and walking towards you or communicating. Um, but again, I feel like it's going to be quick. 
uh, and to the point. So it could be a text or it could be a quick call. But I feel like instead of them addressing the elephant in the room, instead of them saying, you know what, I fucked up Capricorn, I want you back in my life. They're not going to do that. What they're going to do is they're going to make it seem like I heard, you know, that you weren't doing that good, or I heard that you're under the weather, or I heard that you need help in this or in that or whatever, any excuse just to communicate with you. Um, so again, good luck with that Capricorn. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aquarians. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, give me three cards to represent you love, three cards to represent flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Aquarius, let's see what's going on in your love life. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, okay. Interesting. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Capricorn. All right. So we have here the seven of swords, ace of swords, and the four of cups in regards to your new love. Okay. How they're seeing you right now, Aquarius, I feel like they're, they feel that you're sneaking. So two things, one could be if you have them on your social medias, as an example, they text you, you don't respond but then they see you that you posted something, they're in their feelings about it. They're bothered. They feel that either you're like ignoring them or you're not giving them the type of attention that they're used to. I feel that this person that you're dealing with is very used to either being chased or other people like trying to accommodate them. And what's triggering for them is that you're nothing like that. Um, so again, I feel like they feel that you're not being completely honest or that maybe you're not that interested and you're just stringing them along. Um, the reason why they feel this way, again, Ace of Swords is like they don't understand why you're not the one that's like putting yourself in a platter basically because they're so used to that. Um, so again, in their future actions, Four of Cups, I feel like less and less you're going to be hearing about them or less and less they're going to be texting or communicating. I feel like this person, if they don't get the attention that they crave or that they need, uh, they will go off and find it somewhere else. So my advice is if you're already experiencing this Aquarius, keep it pushing because you don't necessarily want a person that you know is craving attention because anyone can give attention to someone. And then if that's what's going to entertain them, um, then you don't want to be dealing with that type of energy. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I feel like for a lot of you guys, uh, you could be dealing with them right now, or you could be dealing with them sometime in the month of October. But my advice is if they seem flimsy, uh, if they're not constant or there's no consistency, keep it pushing because I feel like they would just be wasting your time. All right. Now let's see what's going on in your ex-lover's life. Oh, major transformation here. Okay. So how they feel about you with the justice card. I feel like there was a feeling that you treated them unfairly or that you did them wrong. Um, the reason why they feel this way, the eight of wands is they felt that either you moved on very, very quickly, or you didn't try to reconcile with them. So there's almost this feeling of I'm hurt, but I'm hurt more so that you moved on so quickly or that you completely shut them off the moment you guys broke it off. Um, however, I feel for a lot of you guys, you're going to be hearing that your ex is moving on or that there is some type of engagement or some type of marriage that's happening. And you can experience that, like I said, now the end of this month or the beginning of October. You guys give me a second. I'm going to pause real quick.
All right, you guys, sorry about that. There was someone at the door. Okay, so like I mentioned, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be hearing about an ex getting married or that, you know, that there's some type of engagement or they've moved on and you should too, Aquarius. <laughs> All righty, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Oh, all right. I'm going to put it back in. If you guys are interested in any spooky things for this Hallow's Eve, let me know or comment below and I will definitely uh, do videos about that. I was also told on my TikTok that I should do... Um, uh, when I do scrying or uh, channeling uh, or communicating with spirits. So if you guys are interested in any of that, comment below. And maybe we will get that going for you guys. All righty, here we go. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go. Pisces, let's see what the heck is going on in your love life. All right, here we go. High Priestess, Star, and the Page of Swords. Wow, powerful energy here, you guys. Trying to get the glare out of the cards. Okay, so how they see you, they definitely see you very mystical. Uh, they are definitely, I feel like their interest is definitely peaked. Uh, there is a desire of wanting to get to know you on a much more deeper level. You are dealing with a very spiritual or connected uh, individual with spirituality. So I feel like it could be a person that practices spirituality or someone that is very, very intuitive. Um, now I feel very new energy. So for some of you guys, you may not be dealing with this person. You may actually be dealing with someone right now, but I feel like this is not the person. Um, the person they're speaking to me about is someone that is around your energy, meaning you have not met them yet but it is definitely someone that's getting ready to come into your life. Do not be surprised if you meet someone. It almost feels like it's predestined in the month of October. Now, how they feel about you, the star card is alignment. It is being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I feel for a lot of you guys, you're going to be dealing with someone that perhaps had given up on love. Um, and then all of a sudden, it's almost like the stars align and there is this immediate soul connection. Um, so again, if you guys are dealing with someone or if you're in a committed relationship, I don't feel like this is their energy. This is a new person that's coming into your life. Future actions is page of swords, definitely taking action. Again, I feel like you're going to know who they're talking about because this connection is going to be off the chains on a more spiritual level. Okay. All right. Moving on to your ex-partner or ex-lover. We have the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. So, okay, so what I'm seeing here is for a lot of you guys, the ex hasn't moved on from you guys. There's still a desire of wanting to connect. I feel like they will be reaching out to you in the month of October. Um, However, I'm a bit doubtful because we have a page and a knight. We don't have kings or queens. So this is talking to me about something fleeting. If you're trying to reconnect or reconcile with an ex-partner, I don't feel like this person is wanting something solid. I feel like they may be reminiscing or thinking about the past. And that's the reason why they start to begin to feel a bit lonely. And that's why they reach out. But I don't feel like it's going to be something constant or that you can definitely count on. I feel like it's going to be fleeting. So if my advice is don't entertain if what you're hoping for is to reconcile because I feel like they would only string you along, Pisces. All right, moving on here. Let's go to Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Love life, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of the month remaining of September, beginning of October. Let's see what's going on with Aries. In regards to love and romance. Oh, okay. I'm going to put the card back in. All right. Three cards to represent new love. Three cards to represent the old flame. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. All right. Aries. Aries, y'all been moving weird lately. 
y'all be moving a bit weird lately. <laughs> I have a lot of Aries friends and I'm like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> All right, let's see your new love connection here. We have the hanged man, three of cups, eight of wands. Okay, Aries. So for some of you Aries, you're going to be dealing with a Pisces or you may already be dealing with the Pisces. I see a lot of water energy here. In regards to how they see you, they definitely see you. I feel like you've opened up your mind or you've opened up your eyes to a different a different like view on things when we're talking about relationships and partnerships or you have opened up their mind. Um you could have you could be dealing with someone that was perhaps a bit reserved um could have been a person that is like more that was more religious at some point in their life whereas maybe you exposed them to um more on the spiritual side however how they feel about you aries three of cups i'm gonna be honest okay so I'm getting two different scenarios. For some of you guys, you're going to be dealing with someone that was the complete, or that is, I should say, that is the complete opposite of who you are. So I feel like they're going to challenge you in many aspects, but it's not necessarily a negative thing. Sometimes we need that to open our minds, to be able to see the world through different eyes. Um, and if that's the connection that's coming through for some of you guys, you may already be dealing with them. Uh, then that's great because it, it'll it quickly be able to transcend into something much more long lasting or something more meaningful, um, especially those of you guys that are getting ready or have recently brought them around family or around loved ones um, and they hit it off pretty good. I feel like there is promise for uh, something more stable. However, be prepared to be like pushed out of your comfort zone areas. I feel like they're really going to expose you to different people, different, like maybe you're dealing with someone that has a different background, completely different from what you're used to. But I feel like this is what you need at this point in time. Now for others of you, if you recently connected with someone uh, that is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I feel like the reason why you feel like there is, a feeling of like, mm, they're not very forthcoming with their information. I kind of feel like they're warm, they're hot, and then they're cold. Like there is a, there's no consistency in this connection. I would keep it pushing. Why? Because the person that's coming through uh, in the second scenario to me seems uh, a person that's very detached. This is a person that is not emotionally invested this is a person that's not emotionally ready to have any type of relationship. They are definitely entertaining other connections and they're seeking more of a physical aspect or physical connection. So if you're not trying to be that, keep it pushing. All right. Now let's see what's going on with your past lover or ex-partner. We have the nine of wands, the king of cups and the two of cups. Okay, so... How they feel about you with the nine of wands, I feel like they feel at this point that they're not going to put effort because they've tired themselves or they've put or tried as hard as they possibly could to either fix the relationship or uh, to continue to continue maintaining the relationship they, the way it was before the breakup or before the separation. Um, why they feel this way, the king of cups, obviously they still have feelings for you. Um, with the two of cups though, as a future actions, I feel like there's going to be some type of proposal or some type of invitation that may ensue in the month of October. Um, so for those of you guys that are looking for some type of reconciliation or reconnection, you can definitely expect that in the month of October, there's almost this realization that's happening. And for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that ended a relationship because the person was entertaining another person. I feel like they came to the understanding that it's not going to work out. It, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And all of a sudden they're realizing that they have love for you or that you were the person that they always loved. 
they're coming back around and trying to fix it. So the ball is in your court, Aries. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Give me three cards to represent new love. Three cards to represent the old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Here we go. Taurus. Tauro. I'm thinking of doing a Spanish channel. Uh, I've been getting a lot of people message me on Instagram, on TikTok, on Snapchat, uh, that I should do a Spanish um, tarot channel. Um, not sure. I'm still thinking about it. What do you guys think? All right. Let's see what's going on with Tor. Oof, 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 oof. I am so thrilled and excited. <laughs> All right, Taurus, new love. I got two messages for you guys. Get ready because your life is about to change. Now, with the star card, I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single right now and not really dealing with anyone, your world is going to be shaken. And when I say shaken, I mean shaken. Star, will of fortune, ace of wands. It's like you're turning the page. You're starting a new life like from zero, right? Your karma has been balanced. You're starting fresh. You've been down long enough. It's time for you to experience your good fortune. And Ace of Wands is a promise for passion, for the, you know, passion being ignited. Um, for a lot of you guys, um, in Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio, maybe coming into your life. Now, I do want to be, for some of you guys, uh, you're looking at the month of October. Things are definitely going to take a major shift. When we're talking about connections and partnerships, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys are going to be dealing with your future spouse, your future husband, your future wife. Uh, this is a connection that is, if you're female, this is, uh, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing Jupiter's return. Uh, which is very predicted, uh, predicting um, husband material or marriage. Um, for a lot of you men out there, uh, you may be experiencing a Venus return, and that could be the reason why uh, this person that's predestined to come into your life will be coming in the month of October. Major transformation here. And I'm not talking about like, you know, in life, we can meet people that we connect on a soul level. Um, sometimes we, you know, can find little pieces, like as an example, I don't know if you guys have, have ever heard, you know, a loved one or a friend say, you know, I am seeing multiple people and I wish that they, you know, uh, as an example, uh, I wish that Tom, you know, and Chris, you know, they have all separate virtues that I wish I could just like make them into one. And that would be my ideal partner. You guys are not like, you guys are not settling or you guys haven't settled Taurus. And that's amazing. You know why? Because that shows that you know the type of person that you're looking for at this point in your life. And that's exactly what you're getting. Like there's no half-ass anything. It is coming through for you and it's coming through in a very strong way. It is the universe's way of telling you, you've known exactly what you wanted. You have not settled. So here is that person. And I feel like this person has also been hoping and wanting and patiently waiting to meet someone like you, Taurus. Amazing energy. If you are currently dealing with someone and the connection feels amazing, this is only a promise of what is to come because things will progress and will get more um more serious. So beautiful energy here, Taurus. Okay. Now let's go to the ex-partner or old flame here. Oof, we have the emperor, the king of wands and the five of pentacles. Okay. So they are definitely in their ego, in their pride. Uh, this is a person that cannot get over the fact that they had or they built 
the most stability that they've ever experienced with you, Taurus, um, realizing that they don't have that anymore. For some of you guys, it could have been a person that stepped out of the relationship or someone that thought the grass was greener on the other side. Rude awakening, they're realizing that uh, as you continue to progress, as you continue to do better, um, they feel the stagnation or they feel stuck or tied to a situation or circumstance that they want to get away from. I don't see any type of connection or them coming towards you or any type of communication that comes through. But if anything, I do see a lot of remorse or regret that they will be experiencing. Um, this is more so like internalizing, uh, kind of viewing ourselves or taking a hard look at ourselves in the mirror and having to take self-responsibility for, you know, the situation that they are now in. It's almost like they're in that situation. That is their karma. That's what they seeked. That's what they got. And that's a hard look at themselves in the mirror. But again, I feel that this person is definitely not detaching from their ego. So it's not like in a ha moment where it's like, I need to make it right. No, it's more of like, you know, a kid throwing a tantrum. Oh, I've had enough of this. But it's like they put themselves in that situation. All right, my lovely Taurus, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tons of new videos coming through for you guys. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, here we go. Oof, 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 oof. All right, Gemini, if you recently started dealing with someone or have been seeing someone and it's been more on the casual side, don't sit there and waste your time if you're wanting something to come from that. I feel like both of you guys had the understanding or kind of, you know, at least they gave you those red flags that they were only looking for physical connection. So nothing will come from this connection. They are definitely playing the field and they are entertaining multiple partners. So if that's not something you guys agreed on, then my advice is just to end that connection, walk away from that, um, because this is a person that is seeking more like satisfaction on a physical aspect more than anything. All right, now let's look into the old partner or old flame. Interesting. Okay, Gemini, do not be surprised if you hear from your ex or the person that you were dealing with in the past. I feel like they're coming back around. And the reason why is because they are going to try the best they can to reconcile with you. I feel like you've either, you made them better or you brought stability to them. There's some type of stability here that they are seeking that they don't have, um, since the breakup with you. So there is a, de a desire to stabilize their life or to bring some type of stability. And I feel like they're realizing that with you, they had the most stability or they had peace of mind, or perhaps you let them sit there and be in their feminine energy or masculine energy um, while you take, while you took care of things. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, it's like, I'm promising you that there is still love here. But the emperor does indicate to me, again, ego-based, it is indicating to me with seven of swords, they're not being completely honest or transparent, or they are telling you that they want to work it out, but they're not being completely forthcoming, and they're just wanting to see what they can get out of it. So my advice is keep it pushing and close the door on this Gemini. Definitely not wanting to entertain that type of fuckery. All right, moving on. Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, give me three cards to represent new love, three cards to represent old flame, three cards to represent new love, three cards to represent old flame. All righty, let's see what's going on with Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
Three cards, new love, three cards, old flame. All right, here we go. All right, Cancer, we have the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Ace, sorry, the Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so they were, the person that you're dealing with or you may be dealing with is definitely a person that needs a lot of excitement. This is the type of energy of, it gives me a lot of Sagittarian type of energy, a lot of Gemini type of energy. Um you know, they like what's new, what's shiny type of thing. If you felt like the connection or the communication has lessened and lessened as time progressed, it has a lot to do with the fact that they feel that it's become very predictable or boring for them. Um, why is that? Because like I mentioned, I feel that this is a person that craves uh, newness. There's a desire of spontaneity here. Um, how they feel about you, four of cups, th there's definitely some type of detachment that's happening. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have like emotionally fell for them. Um, whereas things were going good initially and you thought they were feeling the same way, but really I feel like this person is not, they are emotionally closed off. They're not looking for anything serious and they're not looking to settle down anytime soon. So if you're in like into that, then that's fine. But if you're not, and you've noticed that the communication has lessened as time progressed, um, maybe it's time to keep it pushing cancer. I feel like this person will come in and out of your life. If they have something new going on or exciting, they'll go and entertain that. Then they'll come back around. I see them coming in and going out. So if you're looking for consistency, this person is definitely not for you. I would just keep it pushing. All right, let's see what's going on with your ex-partner or ex-flame or old flame. All right, so we have the full card page of wands and the six of wands. I feel this person is on a new cycle in their life. Uh, perhaps recently they got into a relationship or they're trying to work something out with someone uh, that they are definitely dating or casually seeing. Um in future actions, I don't see them taking action towards you. I feel like it has more to do with wanting to show off or wanting to show you that they're doing good, uh, whether it's speaking to friends or even people that know you, that know them, um, speaking about how great life is going for them. Uh, it's almost like trying to rub it in your face, but I don't see any type of communication. And let me tell you something. If they are making you feel... Um, like getting a bit in your feelings about the situation. Don't believe everything uh, or not everything that shines is gold, basically, uh, because the full card does speak to me about newness. This is like barely something that's starting. They might hype it up or they may talk about it. Like if it's something grand uh, when they don't even know where they're at at this point, it's something that's very new. Okay. So yeah, time to move on from that partner. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent new love, three cards to represent old flame. You guys definitely stay tuned for another video that I made uh, that is messages directly to you, directly to each of the zodiac signs, and we keep it 100% raw and uncut. So don't take it personal. <laughs> take it with the grain of salt. All right. Here we go. Leo. Let's see what's going on with my Leos out there. Love. Three cards new love. Three cards old flame. All right. Here we go. Leo. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right, Leo, three of pentacles, king of swords. Okay. All right, Leo. I see a new connection or something unfolding for some of you guys. It could be with someone that works or someone that is in your workplace. While others of you, you may actually meet this person while they're working. Um, 
I feel like it's something new or it's something that's going to be evolving for some of you guys. If you've recently met this person, let's say within a month, uh, you've been dealing with them. I feel like it's going to progress into something more, uh, more stable. Now, King of Swords does indicate to me a person that is um, doing very well in their profession or their workplace, whatever it is that they do. They've been uh, in that journey for quite a while. So I feel like they have some type of reputation or they're thriving. Um, so this is definitely someone that exudes uh, management qualities or a leader for sure. Um, again, if you recently started dealing with someone that is or happens to work in your workplace, I feel that this is someone that is very particular about that. So my advice is, you know, if you are recently getting to know someone from work, uh, try the best you can to keep that to yourself. Don't necessarily tell your friends at work or colleagues, um, because I feel like this person takes it. There is something that's very strict about them, whether it's how they present themselves at work or they don't like to allow things to come between their personal life and their profession. So again, um, my advice is keep this connection private. You also don't want other people to know. Uh, you don't want to give them reasons to start rumors. And then later on, it affect your connection with this individual. Um, again, like I said, I feel that for others of you, this could be someone that you will be meeting while they're working. Um, so it could be while you're out at an assist, uh, social outing, uh, someone that is introduced to you because I do see family or friends here um, that is coming towards you, that is coming towards the connection or the first time that you actually meet this person or connect with this person. Um, so positive there. Let's see your ex-lover or ex-partner. Holy moly, guacamole. Okay. Oof. High Priestess is indicating to me that there are still feelings that are being like not revealed. There's a desire for you not to know that they either not moved on or they're still holding on to this connection. Um, but I feel that as time progresses, you will be given signs um, with the chariot here in regards to why they feel this way. I feel that they still look back in this connection and they feel that either the, the separation or the breakup was something that was based on like a moment. Um, so they often question or wonder like if they could have worked it out, if they could have, as an example, instead of being quiet and like just dealing with the breakup, like should I have fought for Leo? Should I have put, you know, effort? Should I have spoken up and been like, I don't agree with this? or whatever the situation. But with the tower, I'm going to be honest, I feel like this person is currently going through a spiritual awakening. It's almost like taking a hard look at themselves and realizing where they fucked up and taking or having or being forced to take self-responsibility for that. Especially if you're dealing with an ex-partner that was extremely like um, very fixated on like just wanting to be alone or kind of like because they're moody or their temperament have a tendency of pushing people away. I feel like they're going through a spiritual awakening where they're realizing the reason why they are alone or the reason why they feel lonely is because they've pushed people out of their life. And there is almost a culmination of accepting that and realizing that they have to change. Like there's no other way around it. At this point in their life, there has to be some type of change. Now, when we talk about future actions that they will be taking with the tower, I feel like it's the turning of a page. Um, so again, if you were dealing with, for some of you guys could be a person that was either like still fixated on like wanting to be all up in your business and not really emotionally or vibrationally detaching from you. I feel like they're being forced to do so because at this point, it's about their self-growth and understanding that you perhaps were um, a very important role or a very important person in their life. They messed up and it's time to elevate, to be able to grow from that. Whereas in the past, they've refused to take that accountability or that self-responsibility. All right, my lovelies. 
So we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings, like, share, and comment. And again, you guys stay tuned for another reading that is going to be for all the Zodiac signs. And these are messages that are coming directly from spirit. Uh, basically, um, you know, uh, telling you exactly what's going on in your life right now or what it is that you're doing great or what it is that you're effing up on <laughs> so that we can get that little push. Sometimes we need a little bit of direction. So anyways, I want to wish you guys the very best and we will see each other soon. Until then, bye.